Hello YouTube, Quanzar here, and I'm going to be doing some reviews over these chemistry sets I have. One of them is very old, uh, and one of them is uh, newer. Remember, if you like the video, like it, and if you want to see more of these science-related videos, remember to, subs to subscribe, and let's get on to this. I'm going to be doing a lot of fun stuff with um, mostly that kit, but maybe a little bit of that kit. There's some interesting stuff I can do with this one too. Um, I'll go over... Uh, I'll do this one first since it'll be a bit quicker. So this is a old ChemCraft set um, made by the Porter Co. And it's not it doesn't have every chemical that came with it. And it also has some stuff that were, was not for the kit, like some microscop microscop mic microscopy. I don't know how to say that. Um, but it has some of that. And then there's also a few chemicals, and I'll go over everything that there is. Um, so we have some sodium bisulfate. Uh, keep in mind, I'm new to chemistry. Well, yeah, I'm new to at home doing it yourself chemistry. So I don't know exactly everything yet. Ammonium chloride, strontium chloride. This is going to be pretty interesting. I'm, I don't know if the strontium here will actually give off uh, a radiation signature. Um, I have a friend who has a Geiger counter, so I can might be able to borrow it. Uh, my, that's my baseline for the year. Uh, so the matches are from 1955. Kit must be from the 50s at least. Um, let's go on over its half life like three or four times. So there, if there was any in there, there might not be a lot left. Uh, there's some thetothaline. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, but there's none left in there. There's no cobalt chloride. There's some sodium silicate, calcium oxide, ammonium chloride, uh, sodium thiol sulfate, sodium carbonate, calcium hypochloride, aka bleaching powder, uh, and tannic acid. And then we go to azurite, and this one looks pretty nice, actually. It has a, uh, like, green color to it, or, like, a light green. I mean, I'm colorblind, so don't take my word for it all the time when it comes to colors. I just see things that look nice, and I think they look nice. Uh, iron metal, pretty self-explanatory. Aluminum sulfate. I thought this one looked cool, but it's, you know, just normal solution of something. Or not something, aluminum sulfate. It's a uh, eleven, so my brain's a bit weirded out right now. We got we have some sodium ferrocyanide. This is one of the more interesting ones in the kit. Um, sodium ferrocyanide by itself is not necessarily that dangerous. I mean, you obviously don't want to like eat it, but it's not cyanide level um, from what I've read up. Um, but it has this really cool aqua blue. If my color blindness isn't fooling me, um, that's pretty cool. Something interesting this came with is it came with an atomic energy type thing, um, but we don't know where the actual uranium ore is. My dad suspected this might be it, uh, but I highly doubt it. I mean, it says uranium ore, not uranium metal. Um, and why would they be giving uranium metal to kids? Uranium ore, I can understand. It's not too bad um, if uh, you keep it safe. And something I find funny is this little thing right here. Is there a radioactive screen? It's just a piece of cardboard paper, pretty much. Uh, it has a few of these. I'll go to these here in a second. And then it has a weighing scale, I presume, for, you know, weighing out amounts, obviously. And figuring out how much of stuff you need to mix with how much of other stuff. Uh, there's some mics, my crop, my scrop, my, I cannot say that. Um, there's some microscope, microscope stuff. I'll just call that for now on. Uh, blank test paper. I don't think there's any left in there. Yeah, none. Sulfide test sheet. I'm not exactly sure what this would do, but it sounds like it would be something I might be able to do something interesting with. Um, and I, I'm not going to use like all these chemicals for chemistry. I know this obviously has obviously has value as an antique, um, but some of the things might be interesting to experiment with, like such as the strontium chloride and maybe the sodium ferrocyanide. And I'll figure out if there's anything interesting I can do with the other stuff in this kit. Uh, flame test wire. Logwood. I have no idea what that is. Dye wafer, uh, zinc, I don't think some weights, which are, I'm assuming this is what you use on this. Um, it, it has a little bit of weight to it, but you know, it's obviously not a lot. And there's some uh, litmus paper indicators in here. And if there's any doubt about how old this kit is, for some reason, you can just look at the matches and it seems like they're starting to, I don't, even, I don't know what the term is, but you can see that they're starting to do some weird things. Um, that I, I assume old matches do. Um, 
And it also came with this little test tube rack that only had one test tube at the time. And this one doesn't really look like I could use it for much. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get this put up and then we'll go on to look at the uh, this chemistry kit. Okay, this is the newer kit. It is a Thames and Cosmos uh, Chem C3000 kit. Um, this one is a bit older. They made an updated newer version. But I believe that rather than having you know three individual packs, it only has two. So the newer the newer one actually has less material. So this is one of the few cases where I'm happy to have the older version. Um, <clears throat> we'll start from here. I'm going to go over a lot of the stuff that's here. Um, of course, there's a total of eight test tubes in the kits. Four here, two there, two there. Um, there's here's a bottle of thetothaline. I think that's how I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to get it out of that bottle though. I mean, I can get the cap off, but I can't figure out how to go from there. Um, droppers, cups, jar. Um, there's some, a lot of materials. I'll put a list of the chemicals, uh, in the description. If you are like actually interested in reading through that, uh, test tube cleaner, of course, a lot of ver different stuff in here, magnesium strips. Um, if I'm going to do magnesium experience, I'm not going to use this. I already have uh, for those little uh, fire starter magnesium blocks. Um, this is hexamethyl hexamethyl lentermine. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> or I'm trying to say it right. Uh, sodium hydrogen sulfate and a few other uh, chemicals. One of the more interesting chemicals in here, um, and by interesting I mean dangerous, or not dangerous, just what's the most warning labels on it, is potassium permanganate. Now, this is really cool. I did an experiment with it where you put it in, um, you put it in water, and it has this of uh, like deep purple color of like a violet purple. Um, and I know I got that other people to say that I wasn't being colorblind there. I'm not exactly sure this. Is. I think this is just a, a stir rod, considering that it's blocked off at this end and that end. So you know, just stirring stuff, obviously. And then there's some various pieces of tubing. Um, throughout the kit, different angles, such and such, um, different things like that. And this is an Erlmeyer flask. I think I'm saying that right. Um, if you don't know what this is for, you put something in there and it's used to mix stuff like that. Uh, that's a very gross oversimplification, but you know, it, it works. It comes with a big strip of litmus paper. Yeah, quite a bit, a lot more than the uh, old chemistry set had. And I think that would last, that, that'll last me even through this entire uh, experiment book, which is about 400 experiments. I got to page like a hundred and I only found three or four that interest me, but I'm sure later on in here, there'll be a lot more of ex experiments that will catch my interest or I'll have time for it. There's a few experiments I couldn't do because I didn't have hydrogen chloride on me at the time. Here's a alcohol burner. Uh, you put ethyl alcohol in here. That's another reason why I haven't been able to do much. I haven't been able to get ethyl alcohol. Um, and there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. I'll go over some ex examples of experiments in later videos and show you through some of the ones that I find more interesting. Um, but if you guys, uh, if you're like really interested in this, go check the description of the chemicals and tell me if there's any, like any things you think I can do interesting experiments uh, with. I know there's luminol in here and I know with luminol, yeah, luminol is uh, right here. I know with luminol you can make some different experiments with uh, relating to glow sticks and such. And I think that might be interesting. I know that a uh, nerd rage did a video on that, I believe in Nile red, um, the Nile red nerd rage and Cody's lab are the two big, uh, chemistry channels I know of. Anyways, uh, that was the video. Thank you for watching through all of it. Um, I hope you found it interesting and not boring, uh, as I am sometimes or incoherent or under in understandable. I don't know. I I'm weird. Um, but I will do a review over the Chem C3000 set. Um, I'm, I don't know how I'd do a review over that because I'm not going to use it that much. Um, because one, it's very old, and two, it's very old for different reasons. Um, one of them being dangerous, the other one being I don't want to waste the material. If you guys have any ideas for any chemistry experiments I could do, please comment them down below. Tell me how you, or not tell me, I'll, I'll start trying to do it on my own. But if you have any ideas of interesting things I could do, just tell me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Quanzar. Remember to like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more um, science-related videos. That's the new channel theme.